Hi, I am Gretchen with Molten Mud Studio, and I am going to show you how to make this elliptical pipe using the pipe mold from imakestuff.art. So this mold consists of five pieces. It has an outer ring, these two inner pieces right here, um, they come apart. Um, there's the pipe or the bowl press part and the back of the pipe. So to start off, I like to do the top of the pipe first. Um, I use a little cooking spray as a release agent. Uh, I've tried using cornstarch and I really, really like the cooking spray better just because it seems to release the clay off of the ball of the mold of the bowl part better. So I like to use cooking spray. So anyway, I have some B-mix clay I have from uh, Rocky Mountain clay. And I just roll a little cylinder and then I press it down into my pipe. This is my prototype uh, mold. So the molds that are printing right now have an X across the top where the bowl part is, and that'll help you line it up. Um, there'll be marks on the inside of the press as well, so it'll help easing lining up the bowl. And I just take my knife and cut out the excess clay because I don't need it. And then I'm gonna take the bowl part and add a little bit of oil to it because I don't want it to stick. You don't really need to spray it, just use the oil off your paintbrush. And so then you just lay it over the top. Kind of line it up evenly and press down. You're not going to get the press part all the way into the mold. It's gonna stick up about a quarter of an inch and you'll have all that excess clay. So I just use my knife and trim around and trim it off. And then remove it. So yeah, it sticks up about a quarter of an inch. So at this point, I like to leave this piece in place because it adds a little structure to the piece while you're working it. So what I do is I go ahead and remove this outer ring and this inner thing. I just kind of wiggle it back and forth and it releases real nice. There's the first side. let go and there's the other side you can see that there's a little bit of a line here from the press the two two molds of the press and it's also in the bowl it's hard to get your finger in there to clean that out so what I do is I use a wet sponge and I put that inside the bowl and just wiggle it around there we go it gives you a really nice smooth bowl and then I just use my sponge and go over the top of it and get rid of those marks. Um, you can use a rib. The sponge seems to work pretty good. But anyway, this is why I like to leave it on this piece here because it definitely gives you some structure uh, to hold your piece while you're working with it. So there we go, and there's our first half of our pipe. You can go ahead and remove this back piece now. Just gently, oh wait, 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 wait. I found that I like to punch the hole first before I put my pipe together and that helps to get that little goober off the back, which sometimes I can't get in there, I can't get into the end of my pipe to get that little goober out of there. So I'd rather punch the hole now and get that part out of the way. And if it leaves the goober, then it makes it so much easier to clean the goober off. 
And it did, it left the goober right there for me to grab. So let me grab my goober and get it out of my way. So the back of the bowl is a little bit distorted looking. It doesn't, you know, you would think it would look like a bowl, but it doesn't, it just looks like a flat piece, which that works because you want the front to be the roundish part. So then I am just going to add a little bit of water. I've used slip, but boy, this clay is so super wet. So I don't really even need that much moisture to stick them together. But I just score around the outside edge and then set it off to the side, um, face down bowl side up, set it off to the side for us to use on our next piece. So we're gonna put our bowl press back together. I mean, excuse me, our pipe press back together. And so now we're gonna use the back side. And the back side of the press, so this is the front side with the bowl, back side of the pipe, bottom of the pipe. You wanna add just a little bit of oil Rub it around in there. Add a little oil to the press so it doesn't stick. And then have your clay. Press your clay in there. And just make sure to press it to both ends. take my knife and trim the top. Get rid of the excess clay. See it kind of like made it shorten up, but you just use your fingers and press it, kind of stretch it. And now it's in the full length again. Um, you can use your fingers if you want at this point to give it a little bit of a start for you to put the set the mold on top. Um, so it gave it a little concave. I guess you can't really see it. There we go. And then I just take the mold and line it up. And this also will have marks to help you line up and make it a little bit easier to line your pieces up. And then I just press down. Trim off the excess. Okay, and then on this side, I like to remove the press and leave the clay in the, the mold itself. So give the press a little wiggle and take it out. It leaves this nice little canoe shape. Um, then I'm gonna go around and score the edges. Take the piece we made earlier, stick it on top, squish the edge a little bit. Jelly bean, be good. Stick it on top, and then you can give it a little wiggle and make sure it sticks good. Jelly, no. And you can take your sponge to the outside, clean it up a little. And then it's all together and you are ready to take it out of the rest of the mold. So you're just gonna kind of gently hold your piece and give this back piece a wiggle until it releases. And I can see I need to do a little work on the edge right here. And I'm just gonna leave it in the mold and go around it with my sponge. 
clean up my seam. And then release the other side. And once again, it leaves a little bit of a line, so you want to clean that up. And then clean up your outside seam. And there we go. The perfect little elliptical pipe. Um, you're going to want to punch a hole here and a hole here eventually after it sets up a little bit. I have one that has been sitting for a little while. Maybe this one. Um, so you want to be careful when you punch your hole on the top because you don't want to push all the way down and hit your pipe or hit your bowl. So I just make sure my hole punch is all nice and clean. And then just... I got these hole punches off of Amazon. And then just gently press in. Oh, this clay doesn't wanna hold together very well. I'm probably doing this a little too early or a little too late. And get that nugget out of there and then redo your end of your pipe. Clean up. And there we go. And then do the same thing. Get the goobers off of it. And then do the same thing with the other side, which I've already done. But there is your perfect little pipe. You can make like I think it looks like a rocket or a pickle or maybe even a soapbox race car. If you added some wheels, you can make some really cool stuff. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks.